today's food for thought comes from the first chapter of Malachi in the sixth verse, which reads, A son honors his father, and a servant his master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my reverence? Says the Lord of hosts to you priests who despise my name. Yet you say, In what way have we despised your name? The Lord desires for us to honor him rather than for us to dishonor him. To honor means to esteem. It means to respect another. Is God not worthy of our respect? Is the Lord not worthy of our honor? Think about all that the Lord has done for us. Consider what he has done specifically for you. When we consider all that God has done for us and all of our loved ones and even the strangers around us, we should consider that God is certainly worthy of all of us respecting him. Yet, many of us, we dishonor the Lord, and quite a few of us will offer to him vain worship as well. To the priest, the Lord said that they despised him, to which they were absolutely confused. So, how does one dishonor, how does one despise the Lord? God said to the priest that they did so by offering up defiled prayers. God said to the priest that they dishonored him by mistreating those who were less fortunate than they were. The Lord said that the priests dishonored him when they would treat those like governors, for example, with more honor and with more respect than they would him. The Lord asked of the priest and the people, where is my reverence? If we treat others who hasn't done near as much for us as God has done with honor and respect, why can't we do the same for him who has given us his all in all? God, he deserves our honor. He deserves our respect. So I encourage you today, move to sincerely honor and treat the Lord with all manner of respect, the respect that he certainly deserves. We should not be dishonoring the Lord, especially if we claim to be his children.